Project Diablo 2 has been my favorite D2 mod that was launched in November 2020. Up until this day it has been getting steady seasons and patches that were improving balance of skills and items, fixing bugs, improving certain game mechanics, adding tons of quality of life features and endgame systems. Season 7 is just around the corner and I wanted to share the main updates with you. It's me, Quad, and let's have a look through the changes. First of all, for anybody coming from a long break or haven't played Project Diablo 2 before, you can always find summary of all the changes in the official wiki of the mod. It has an overview of all the crucial changes and also season by season patch notes. For any new starter who is intrigued by that mod but doesn't know where to start, I would recommend to read through general changes and game mechanics. For the rest, you can pick up on the go, especially if you use one of the common loot filters. There will be a lot of helping info or recipes and item bases for Rune Wars, etc. Most of the other changes you can check once you are through the game and ready to optimize and dig deeper, for example, corrupting your gear, deciding on a mercenary, or looking at the mapping system. At the same time, I would recommend my another video that introduces new players to Project Diablo 2 with all the main changes introduced by it. Now let's look through general changes with Season 7. First of all, mercenaries. Yes, we finally have Act 4 mercenary. You can hire this Haradrim dude at Tyrael and there are two versions, Dark and White Mage. Former uses Bone Magic and Curse Master with Amplify damage, so you can have actually two of them, while latter takes his craft from holy sources. Both look amazing. Act 1 mercenary choices have been extended with Physical Strafe Merc, also slow movement and Magic Arrow. Cold and Fire Mercs that used Strafe before were replaced with Freezing and Exploding Arrow respectively. There has been massive rare affixes overhaul. Generally lower level affixes will not spawn 40 levels above their spawning threshold, essentially making high level rares and crafts have higher chance for better and more useful affixes to spawn. Several new stats were added, plus X open wounds damage per second and curse resistance, which reduces the effect of the curses against your cell by that amount. Open wounds damage now gives you a chance to control damage when open wounds proc, and a way to build a character of it. Lots of items receive plus X to open wounds damage per second. It lasts for 5 seconds and stacks up to 3 times. Also works with a splash damage. Well, you might have noticed it already. Now you have silky smooth 60 FPS animations thanks to D2GL. Also it makes all the text HD. Game still runs of 25 frames, but all the animations are at 60 FPS. Just see it for yourself, it looks really awesome. You can configure this by pressing Ctrl plus O in game to modify the settings. Couple of changes to runes. So Om rune now grants 45% enhanced damage instead of 40. Amrun now grants plus 10% open wounds instead of 25 in weapons and plus 120 open wounds damage per second in weapons. This is mainly to support the change around open wounds mechanic. Other utilities changes are, for example, DPS meter now works constantly and resets after 5 seconds of inactivity, which helps you to measure your DPS properly without needing to reset it manually. Attack speed calc has been integrated into the advanced stat sheet with increased attack speed values and your current breakpoint with frames per attack. Also critical strike now has correct information on the advanced stats sheet. Alright, there were a few changes to maps. First of all, they added two new unique maps. Both maps are Diablo 1 inspired. Jar Sanctum will have a large chance to drop charms and the boss will always drop a skiller charm. The Stygian Caverns will have a chance for items to drop corrupted and the boss will always drop a corrupted unique item. They also added two new map events. Geed now has a chance to spawn within the map, having 5 unidentified item bases available for 1 million gold each. These items will always be unique and can upgrade to exceptional or elite bases, similar to gambling chances based off your character level and quality of the exceptional and elite item. You can see an upgrade chance formula on the screen. Second event is when Altar of Catalyst spawns within your map. You can defeat the boss monster, allowing you to smash the crystal on the altar, granting you Catalyst Shards. Catalyst Shards can be combined with a map to add the modifier Area Contains a Random Event. And finally, white maps can now be stacked. This is amazing! If you get magic or rare maps and not planning to run them, you can use Orb of Distraction to make it white and stackable. Lastly, event spawn chances were reduced on magic and white maps. 
Now, big change to Ubers actually. Diablo clone and Rathma will now be much easier with the basic recipe, but can only drop any or tainted warstone shard. In order to farm items you will need to combine their spawning item with a high rune, starting from Vex and up to Zodrun. Higher the rune, harder the fight, but also better the chances to drop an item. D-Clone and Rathma summon materials drop rates were also increased. All of this will help casuals like me to try D-Clone or Rathma for the first time. Very quick change for PvP. So now PvP Arena has a special potions that cost 1 gold and can only be used on the arenas. Loot Filter also got a bunch of updates on the functionality and few new features, as well as some bug fixes. If you are looking to make your filter or update something, check the patch notes for details. Alright, from class changes, apart from general balancing of some skills and synergies, we got few cool updates. Amazon's Fend now has increased splash radius with 2nd and 3rd heat. Assassins now got a better item generation on Shadow Warrior and Shadow Master, and better boots for kick damage. You can also now inspect their gear by hovering over with unsummoned skill and pressing 0. Barbarians now have a new skill, Deep Wounds. This passive grants the Barbarian percent chance of open wounds and additional open wounds damage per second. Druid's Fury as well as Amazon now also has increased splash damage radius on the second and third attacks. Necro. Well, Dark Pact got a nerf and Curse Mastery now also allows for several curses on mobs from different sources, for example you and your mercenary. Paladins, probably the most class with skill changes this time. All damage auras have been balanced. Blessed Aim now provides deadly strike chance as well. Charge bug has been fixed. You will always charge in the melee range too. Charge has up to 60% increased splash damage radius based on the distance traveled. So the longer the distance, the higher the splash radius. Zeal also gets splash damage radius increase on the second and third attacks. And lastly, Sacrifice has been reworked. Now if you kill an enemy with Sacrifice, it will explode similar to Corpse Explosion, dealing 5% of Corpse health plus any overkill damage you dealt. Overkill damage is a damage that exceeds monster's health on your last hit. It is dealt half physical and half magic. And Sorks, they got some Blizzard and Frozen ore balancing, nothing else. Lastly, lots of items and rune words were balanced, mostly around open wounds damage, but not only. So I would highly recommend to check out the final patch notes for specifics. You will find them in the description and in a pinned comment. Regarding rune words, I'm going to update my PD2 rune wizard with all the relevant changes and make it ready for season 7. Link in the description as always. I'm also hoping to add a feature so that you can search and filter not only by rune word name and base type, but also rune word stats. For example, to check all rune words with minus enemy cold resistance. I will announce final changes on the channel once done. If you never heard of PD2 before, then you need to check this video to learn all the main changes that were done to Vanilla D2. That would be very helpful to start with. Thank you for watching.